Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a new tournament happening this week, an ATP 250 event, the San Diego Open, which is a brand new tournament because of the schedule that's been changed around with Indian Wells coming up in a couple of weeks and the US Open just happening. They filled in the kind of the gaps with a few big tournaments, a few new tournaments on the ATP and WTA in America. This is one of them, San Diego Open. The big names are playing in this one as well. Some names actually just played the Labor Cup in Boston last week. But some names have also pulled out. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So a few names have pulled out of this one. We have Garen. He's pulled out. Goffan. Lajevic. And Opelka, who just played the Labor Cup last week. He's also pulled out of this event. Starting at the top of the draw. And we have eight seeds in this one. Top four seeds get a bye in the first round. And Rublev. The number five in the world and just coming off a Labor Cup victory with Team Europe. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll have a tough second round though because we've got Fanini taking on the wild card Nakashima in the first round. Winner of that will play Rublev in the second round. So a very tough second round for Rublev no matter what happens. Then we've got Harris versus the qualifier Eubanks. Winner of that match will play the qualifier Gaio or the number six seed Schwartzman who is also coming off the Labor Cup playing for Team World last week. Then we've got the number four seed Shapovalov again. Another player who played the Labor Cup last week. He'll take on the winner of the qualifier Caruso or Fritz, who were going at it in the first round. Then we've got Kopfer versus Nori. Winner of that match takes on either the special entry Quan or the number eight seed Evans, who were going at it in the first round. So the players I'm watching out for in this one, obviously we're watching out for Rublev. See if he can continue that winning form and that winning feeling from the Labor Cup that he won with Team Europe. Also Shapovalov, interested to see how he does because he hasn't been great since Wimbledon, of course, made the semifinals there. Hasn't been great since then, so this is a good chance for him to maybe regain some form getting into the end of the year. And also keeping an eye on Kwon, who just won his first title last week in Kazakhstan. So let's see how the travel affects him, because he's going to go from Kazakhstan all the way back to America. And being in some winning form, let's see how he does, especially against Evans in the first round. That'll be a very fun match to watch. Going to the second half of the draw now, and we've got Hercatch, the number five seed. He takes on the qualifier Bolt in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Karatsev or Dalbonis in the second round. Then we've got Fuchovic versus Dimitrov. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Felix Ojeali-Asim, who is also coming off the Labor Cup from last week. We've got the number nine seed, Sonego. He takes on Basilashvili in the first round. Winner of that match is going to take on an American no matter what because we've got Korda versus Paul in the first round. Then we've got a battle of the wild cards and they are some veteran wild cards. Nishikori versus Murray in the first round. What a first round matchup. That could have been a final five years ago. Circle that one as one to watch. And the winner of that match gets to take on the number two seed, Kasper Rudd, who was also coming off the Labor Cup victory with Team Europe last week. So some fire matchups in the first round in this little part of the draw. And not an easy match for Rudd, no matter who wins wins that first round. So the players are watching out for in this one, obviously got to watch out for Rud and Felix Ogielli has seen two guys that have had really, really good results over the last couple of months with Rud obviously winning three titles in a row on clay and then FAA getting to the semifinals of the US Open, but also keep an eye on Hercatch because Hercatch won a title last week in France on the indoor hard court. So he's in a little bit of form as well. And being the number five seed, he might be able to sneak under the radar in this tournament. So keep an eye on Hubie Hercatch as well. So there it is, the San Diego Open, a first time event on the ATP, an ATP 250 event. But for a small tournament, it's actually really stacked. We've got Rublev, we've got Ruud, we've got FAA, Murray, Nishikori. Those guys are playing in the first round. How crazy is that? And some big, big names playing. So very interested to see what you guys think. Who do you think is going to win this event? It's one of those tournaments where maybe you can go with the easy pick with Rublev or, or FAA or one of those big names, but it might not be that easy because there's a lot of good players that are low-ranked. Karatsev, who could be a very big surprise, as he has been for the most of the season, he's not even seated in this event. So let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one? So taking a look at the list now, and it's very tough for me to pick this one, but I'm going to go with Hubie Hercatch. I think he's in some great form. Obviously won a title last week, and I just feel like being the number five seed, he'll be able to sneak under the draw a little bit. I'm a little worried about his fitness. Maybe he's played a little bit too much tennis over the last couple of weeks, but I'm going to go with Hubie Hercatch. I feel he's got a good little part of the draw as well. If he can avoid Karatsev in the second round, he might be able to make a bit of a run possibly win the whole thing. Maybe play Rublev in the final. That'd be a great final. But I'm going to go with Hubi Hercash to win this one. Again, let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? So another new event on the ATP this time, an ATP 250 in San Diego.